Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, um, I hope you're all doing well. Okay, all right, so in this video, we are going to be talking about concatenation. Okay, now think of concatenation as joining stuff together. All right, so before that, um, bef before we start concatenation, I just wanted to mention something, something real quick. Now, again, remember in the part of the, in, this, in the different parts of a Java program, we talked about white space over, over here. Now the fact that I have this empty line here does not affect the program. I can actually close it like this. I can just close it. Um, so because of that, I have well, wait, I, actually I have I have two. Okay, the, the, this space I'll probably need just for clarity. But I can see that I have space above here. I just want to go ahead and close it. So I'm going to just take the key up here. It doesn't affect the program. White space is just for us, so we can go ahead and you know, see our, our code more, more clearly. We'll talk about that, you know, when you see more of that in our future programs. All right, now concatenation. So let's go ahead and reproduce the, the code that we had in the previous program, which is we declared a variable called number. We said number, we, should, we told the computer to, well, we declared a variable called number and we told the computer to only allow, allow integers in that variable. And we put in the number four in number and we told the computer to okay if you've been able to do that then please go ahead and print out and print out what is stored in number right now these spaces are not printed here unless they are in, they are in double quotation if it's if now if something something is in double quotations that thing is a string right a string is simply a, a series of characters you know joined together basically words or sentences a series of characters joined to get together because these are not in uh, uh, double quotations they are not printed it's only printing out now what is stored i'm sorry about this i'm actually uploading a video all right so it's only printing out now what is st what is stored in the variable number so when i go ahead and i compile this which means we are translating it to machine language and then now the, the computer the, now the computer has the machine language version of our source code, so it, it understands it now. So when I run it, it's running the, the machine language version it has, and it's displaying to us what is stored in the variable number. All right. So now let's do some concatenation here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this, and I'm going to create a string, which is a series of characters joined together. Now a strings go in double quotations, so I'm going to say this is the first sentence or the first yeah the first sentence right or the first statement let's just use statements although it's not necessarily um well I, i'll just use sentence you know what statement <laughs> sorry about that all right so this is the first statement i'll compile this and then i'll run it and let's see what happens in other words we are telling the computer to print out this this string here so we can see it's, it's printing it out nicely over here. This is the first statement here. Now, because if this is the first statement, it's in double quotations. Th that's, it's, it's a string, right? We said a string is a series of characters joined together, including the space. The space is also considered as a character, right? So these spaces are all, are all being printed. It's not printing out the space before it because again, they are not part of the string. This is just a space, white space, so I can see what's in there. And I can go ahead and do this just so it's clear for me. It's still not printing on these spaces. It's printing out everything. It's printing out, printing out everything in the parentheses, all right. But everything, that is a, that is a real value. We, this is just white space, so it's, it's really not printing it out. This is just white space, so it's really not printing it out. So when I compile this and I run it, it still works. We can see that. All right, now let's undo it just so we have just one space here just for clarity. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and concatenate it with something. And concatenating meaning means I'm just joining joining this line with something. I'm saying add or basically not not add as in addition, but join. Okay, if it's a string, you're joining. Join another another sentence to it, right? So let's say this is the first statement. This is the second statement. And the way, the way you concatenate is with a plus sign, all right? So I'm using the plus sign to concatenate or to join. Think of this plus sign as a glue, as simply a glue that you are just, you've just applied at the end of this, of this line, right? You can think, you can do this if, too if you want. 
The reason why I'm tapping space is just to, for clarity. Again, this is this white space. It doesn't affect the program. So you can do this. Then you can really think of it as a group, right? Because it's attached to the end of this. But think of white space. Uh, sorry, think of the plus sign as a glue that is, you know, attached to the end, or basically a glue, glue that is joining these two statements together, right? So this whole thing here, without the quotation, is, is the first was first string. Okay, um, with a string, what's in the quotation? Okay, is what's printed out. What's in the quotation? Double quotation is what's printed out. So this is the first uh, line. This is the second line. And we are using the plus sign to concatenate them. In other words, to join them together, together. So when I compile this and I run it, you can see this. You can see that it's printing. This is the first statement. OK, this is the first statement. And we can see, sorry. And it's also printing out. This is, this is the second statement. Now it's printing it exactly. You, you, know, you notice there is no space in, in between them. It's printing it exactly as they are. Okay, there is no space at the end of this, and there's no space at the beginning of this. It's just joining them together. together. That, that's the purpose of this. It's gluing them together. You can see that. Okay, it's just to join things together. Now, if I wanted a space, I would have to either add a space here or somewhere else. And let's just try it here first. So compile this and then run this. And we can see it's printing out. This is the first statement. So that's this. And then it's printing out, including the space. The space is also considered a character. And, and this, this is the second statement, including the space. So this is the, this is the first statement. And the second statement starts from the space here. You can see that. OK, now I can take this back so they are not separated by a space. You can see it here. And I can also add a space at the end <coughs> of this line, rather. OK, so compile this, and then run. And we can see it's printing out the first line, which is this, or the first statement, it's, it's this, like that. And then this is the second, so, so basically that's this line here, including the space, including the space. And this is the second line without, without any preceding or ending space, or, or trailing space. So the, con the con uh, plus sign basically joins to things together, or concatenates, uh, concatenates things together. <clears throat> now, these are strings, right? You can also add numbers to it, right? So you can you can say this, uh, sorry, this, oh, sorry, I, I forgot to add this here. This is the first statement. I, 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 it's funny, I just realized I didn't have the word is in here. Okay, so this is the first bit statement. You can also concatenate other things. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be just string, you, strings. You can concatenate a number to this. You can say four. Now, just before we go, into, uh, into, into the details of why this is not surrounded by quotations. Let's just run this and see what happens. So in other words, I have concatenated the string. This is the first statement with a space, actually this whole string here. And then I'm joining four to it. Four is the second, second um, number. Okay. So you know it, it all makes sense. We are we are just joining things together, right? Now we know this is a variable. When we ask the computer to print out the what's stored in the number, it printed out four. So we can you know because we've told the computer to store the number, this number four in this variable. It it, it now it's now it's now keeping track of this four. It knows anytime I I say a computer print out what's in the number four, it can print it out, right? So over here I am c concatenating. What's stored in the, num the number variable to the, the string? This is the first statement. And this works too. When I compile this and I run it, you can see it's saying this is the, the first statement. For it was able to, it didn't print out the, the word number. It printed out what is stored in the number because this is a variable. It's a variable over here. It now know because we told it what to put it in there, it was able to tell. Now, if I change this to 5, and I compile this, and I run it. It's it's able to tell that this num the value stored in this variable. You know, variables can change, has changed from four to five. And it's concatenating. It's joining what's stored in number to the statement. This is the first statement. All right. So it's all making sense now. Why didn't we surround this with with double quotations? Because as soon as we do that. 
this doesn't become a variable anymore. This becomes a string. It becomes a regular string that you want to display. So when I compile this and I run this, we can see it's displaying not what's stored in the number, but the string number because we've surrounded it with, with double quotations. So double quotations, you are basically printing exactly what in that string. It says this is the first statement number, right? But as soon as you move it, so variables don't do, you don't you do not, you do not surround it surround them with parentheses. They go as they are. Okay, because it's an integer. It's a variable that stores an integer. The same way when we added when we did four, and you know you compile it, and you run it. It, it displayed four. The same way that we, when we wanted to display when we wanted to display the number four, we did it this way. Right. Now, although it prints out for us a number without quotations, when you also add quotations like this, now you've changed this, this four from a number to a string. It still works. It still works. The first one was a number, the second one is a string. You don't really see any difference here, but the difference is in type, okay? The, the difference is, is, in, is in the type. This is a string, okay? And this is a number, although they are displayed the same way. The, th that's the difference. The difference, if the difference is in the type, but then you get you get used to used to the the different types. So don't worry about it. But a key thing is, if you wanted to print out what's stored in the variable number, just make sure you don't surround it with with, with um, double quotations like this. Because as soon as you do that, then it becomes a string. Make sure you just concatenate or you or print out what, whatever is stored in the variable number. Without make sure make sure you don't surround it with, with um, double quotations. Otherwise, it will print out the string number, okay, or the string that you specify in the, in the double quotations. All right, so let's just do a couple examples so you can you can get used to this. All right, so we can go ahead and even concatenate something to this one and say this is the first number. Sorry, this is the first statement five, and then we can go ahead and concatenate. Some more things to it and say we are continuing we are, sorry continuing our concatenation or something like that so when I when I compile this and I run it we can see it's just the plus sign is serving us a you know it's just joining things together that's all so this is the first statement five we are continuing our concatenation See, we, there's a space before because there's a space here. Actually, it prints out a dot and a space. So this is what's being printed out as the third one here. Okay. Okay. So why do we, why do we go ahead and and and, and, and you? What's what's the purpose of this? Again, well, the one one. So okay. So what's the purpose of this? Um, so one reason is, for example. If you had a line like this, if you had, let's say, just these two strings, I've concatenated the first string, let's just do this. Concatenated the first string to the second string. Compile it and we can see it here. Sometimes sometimes we may have really long lines here, right? We, we may have really, really long lines. Let me just go ahead and make this one string, just, just the first statement, right? And then just keep on typing. We love our first statement, All right? Compile it, we can see that it's it's just simple, simply one statement, right? We can continue and say this, you know, strings are really awesome. Let's keep typing. Now we can see that we are going off the screen, right? And no, normally, what you're used to, or what everyone is used to, let's say with Microsoft Word, is you'd hit enter, right? You'd hit en you'd hit enter. Let's say if you wanted to break it somewhere around here, or or even here, if you wanted to break it here, you you'd hit hit enter like this, and then you can continue typing. But you can't just do that in program. You um, in 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 program, I mean, in most programming languages, and in in Java especially, you can't. So I'm going to undo to to where where we were here, and then now I'm in. I'm in the, in the in the double quotation, so I'm still working with one string here. But let's say I'm going off the screen. I want to break it into, uh, to the next line. If I hit enter, I can't just go ahead and do that. If I try to compile this, it's going to give me errors. Okay, 
it says unclosed string literal, meaning that you've opened, this, this is the opening quotation for this string. Where is the closing quotation for that one? That, that's what it's asking you. You've opened it here, why don't you close it? It's, it doesn't see, as soon as it goes to a new line, it doesn't see that this, this line is part of this line anymore. It's expecting you to close this one. And, and over here, it's going to com com complain. So over here, it says unclosed string literal over here, right? So if I, if I, let's say, close this, and I compile it, now it says, this is expected, right? So it wants you to, so it, it says, uh, an, a, closing, a closing parenthesis is expected here. It wants you to really close it here, and then I compile it, and now it says a, a semicolon is, 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 uh, is expected, meaning terminate this line. Okay, compile it. Now it says unclosed string literal, meaning you you have a string here, you have a closing string, all right, but you don't have the opening. So I, let's let's just you know work with this, these error messages. Compile, and it says this is not a statement, and it's true. This is really not a statement. So let's go ahead and undo a few a, you know a few steps back. Now we are still working with one string. Compile this, and we can see that it's printing out a string for us. But again, just to, just to mention that point, you can't really just keep on typing and break it like by just hitting enter and continue typing. You can't just do that. You have to use, you have to basically separate them into two separate strings. But when you separate them into two separate strings, you can use the plus sign to join them, right? So this is my first string. I compile it, I run it. You can see over here. Okay, as a matter of fact, um, no, it's fine. Let, let, let's continue. So over here, I can. I can go ahead and say plus, right? Meaning join it with another string. I can now go ahead and hit enter. And then, so oh, this is one whole string here because I have an opening um, quotation, uh, opening double quotation and a closing double quotation here. So this is one string. I'm, I'm joining it with another string. So I need to create another string by beginning it with a double quotation and close it with a closing quotation, right? And then whatever goes in between that is my, is my second string. So I can say this is my second string, all right? Oh, this is, this is our second statement. So all I've done here is just just so that, because you can just simply hit hit, hit enter, you can basically concat uh, um, have several strings. So this is the first string, concatenate them with multiple strings. And then it wouldn't complain now. It's the same string, all right, but it's just been broken down into two lines and joined together. So when I compile this and I run, it's still one string I'm printing, but on, but on the display over here, I have just I don't want it to exceed this line over here. I want to break it into two two lines. So I, I concatenate the first try, break it into two, and we can see this is the first this is the first line here. So this is the first string it's displaying. So it displays all the way up to here. It's, you can see it's still continuing. It displays all the way up to here. Awesome and a space. Right, and then I'm joining it with this string, which is this is my second statement. So, so that's the purpose of uh, uh, concatenation. That's one one good use of it. So I can go ahead and go ahead and, con and con concatenate it with more strings here. Okay, as you know, I'm just typing you know random stuff, and I know I'm exceeding the line, so I can concatenate it with another string here. Right. Now, now there's no pe 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 there's no purpose in me doing this, right? This, assuming this is, you know, um, there's no purpose in me doing this, right? But let's just try try out. Let's just you know, put it there. And I'm going to go ahead and concatenate it with another string. So I'm going to go ahead and after typing the plus, go to the next line, open another string, and then type in something, right? This space is, is not part of it. Again, we talked about this is just a space for readability. So run this. I mean, compile this first and then run it. We can see that it's displaying our strings all right. We can see it here, but on the display over here, we've separated. Uh, you know, we've, we've actually split the statements into multiple into multiple um, multiple lines, but it's just one 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 statement. Still, it's still printing one statement. This whole thing is one statement, but it's just joined together with plus sign because we don't want to exceed. You can't just go ahead and hit enter somewhere here, and then immediately continue. No, you can't do that. So you have to go ahead and join them with the plus sign. And that's concatenation. Let's just look at one more simple example so it's so it's clear to to everyone. So now I have my two uh, double quotations opening and closing. I'm just going to go ahead and say you know just do a simple example. I'm saying 
the number is space and I'm going to concatenate it with number right compile this and then run the number is five I can change this to let's say seven compile this and run it the number is seven and we can we can go ahead and concatenate it with something because I have my plus sign whatever comes next is going to be concatenated joined to this number here so I'm going to go ahead and hit and hit enter I can create a string and say I have this uh, I'm going to I'm going to display the content of what of, of number again again now it, this number is not the same as this number because this is a string it's in double quotations right it's going to be displayed the way it is but because this one is not in double quotations it's going to display the value or, you know of, of the value of number basically what's stored in number so I'm going to display the content of number again I'm going to put a colon here space and then concatenate it with what's stored in number again I can reuse you know I can ask the computer to print out what's stored in number so many times as, as many as many times as, as I want and, and it's going to do that okay it's going to you know follow my instructions and then do, do what I tell it to do so when I compile this now and I run it you can see it says it's still it's still one 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 li one line but I'm just over here even though it displays as two lines I all I'm doing is just so it looks clear to me over here I'm I'm just breaking it up but it's just one line over here one statement when you think about it but join together with the plus sign when you join it with a plus sign you can as soon as you type the plus sign you can hit enter or you can or you can go ahead and continue on that same line but if you're out, out of this let's say you're, you're running out of space on the screen you can put the plus sign hit enter continue on that next line and whatever comes after that plus sign is being joined to you know whatever is in the left of the plus sign okay so over here I can see this, uh, this I'm missing a space here so it's pl it's this is displaying the first string is, is being displayed which is the number is seven over here now after after displaying seven so the number is seven seven was is the content of number after displaying seven the next the next thing that was joined to this string is I am going to display the content without any space pre preceding it right that's why there's no space so I can put the space there and then run it you can see the space is there okay I one more thing just so we are clear with um, concatenation all right just you just one more example now this is just for you to have an overview of it but you're going to see con concatenation so many times in the programs that we write or the or as we are learning Java but this is just so you are you understand it so let's 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 first tell it to print out number okay and run it it's going to print out seven right because seven is stored in number now I'm going to actually tell it to space print out number again so if I do print out number number right now these are two arguments that, uh, that I'm passing in here so one one second here Let, let's see what happens here now it's saying you can you can't necessarily do that although I said you can ask it so many times to print out what's stored in number you can't necessarily do that these are two separate things you, you you're supposed to specify one value at a time right or if you want to if you want to display two of them at the same time you have to go ahead and, and concatenate them or separate them with, with something you can't just print out number number like that because it doesn't know what number number is really it's seeing this whole thing kind of as uh, as one you know it's it's it, it, it's it doesn't know what it doesn't know how to interpret it it's saying okay you know I'm trying to display what's in number but what's this you know so you have to go ahead and separate it so it knows you know what what is what so if you can do this you can do number plus number but but then again we are we are we are we are we are speeding up here this is actually going to add them not and not this is going to add seven plus seven and display it but you know we are we are not talking about math here right but don't don't be confused here so if you wanted to, if you wanted to separate them with the space now, because the, these are numbers, when you when you use the plus sign on numbers, it's going to perform math, right? But if you perform, or if you if you use it, the plus sign on strings, it's just going to go ahead and join them together. Okay, if you use a plus sign on strings, it's going to go ahead and join them together. 
So number, number. There's no space. I can put one space here. Okay. Or I can, you can see there's a space here. Or I can go ahead and close, close this, or remove that space. We are back to where we, where we were. Put a space in front of this one. Compile it and run it. And you can see that. So if you if you add the plus sign on a, on a string, it's going to join them. But if you add it on a number itself, it's going to perform math. Now, if you add it to a, a, an int or a, basically a number and a string, it's going to basically convert this number to a string and then display it. Everything that is displayed by the print ln statements is converted to a number. Sorry, sorry. Everything that is displayed to uh, displayed by the print print or print ln statements is converted to a string and displayed. So this number for it to be displayed has to be converted to a string. So you know, that, that happens automatically. And that's why we see seven number because this is seven and we are joining the value of seven to number. So <clears throat> don't get confused, you get used to it. You can see number, space, number. We, you, you get used to it, don't, don't get confused. But if you add or you use a plus sign on numbers, it's no, it's no more concatenation, it's it's adding because you have both numbers, so it's going to go ahead and print out 14. If I use 8, then it's going to go ahead and print out 16, because 8 plus 8 is 16. So so the, the last thing I want you to get from this is if you're joining two strings, okay, with a plus sign, it's it's string. It's basically string con concatenation. You are you are basically joining them. You are you, it's like it's like the glue that we talked about. You are basically gluing them together. If you concatenate a string and a, and a number, whatever is going, whatever ha has to be, you know, you know, or basically whatever is going to be displayed, has to be converted to a string. So in that case, it, it's automatically going to convert this number to a string and display it, right? So if you concatenate a number to a string, that number is converted to a string and displayed. So we can see number, which is the refer string, and then we are joining the value of number, which is eight, as a number. But it has been it has been converted to a string and displayed. There's no space here, so that's why we that's why we can't see it. All right. And if you are and if you are concatenate or you are or it was not concatenation. If you use a plus sign on two numbers. Because they're both numbers, it's going to go ahead and add these two numbers, right? The result is then going to be converted to a string and then displayed. Because whatever is displayed by the print ln statement has to be converted to a string. And so I know this video is uh, long, but I, I just wanted you to have an idea of concatenation and, and so, so, so that it's clear. I mean, if it's not, um, for me, it's not long as long as. As long as you know it's it's giving giving you information and giving you understanding, it's good. But if it's too long for you, try to and you know it already. You can go ahead and skip through it. If you don't know it, know it and it's helping you, then it's great. I'm happy. But I'm I hope that you at least got the idea of, of con concatenation from this. This is just to your first look at it. We will definitely you definitely see it so many times in our print statements and in in, in using it so many times. Um, you 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 get an understanding of how it works. Okay, so go ahead and play around with it and see the error messages you get and see if you did anything wrong. But we'll definitely um, go over it and um, you see it so many times in in our, in our future programs and f future videos. All right, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below as always, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, bye bye.